Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 10 of our Configmas 2022. My name is Johan and in this demo you will learn how to provide internet access to your lab VMs, both using native Hyper-V functionality but also bringing in a virtual router to the table. So that means demo time. So for this demo there are two different scenarios. As I mentioned, first a more simple scenario, you simply have a bunch of VMs that you want to make sure have internet access by not necessarily putting them directly on your lab network or production network because it could be one of your VMs is a DHCP server and your network team is probably not going to be super excited if you decide to put that out on the external network card on your Hyper-V host. So in this scenario those virtual machines are actually on an internal only network but we will use Hyper-V functionality to give them internet access anyway, still isolated. The second scenario is a little bit more advanced, and that is when we have multiple networks still on the same Hyper-V host, but in this case, we actually have three different networks. One that has the virtual router, one that has, for example, the New York network, and another one that has, for example, the Chicago network. The virtual router will bring them together and make sure they get internet access, but still being isolated on their own so that there are no outside traffic from these VMs onto your either home network or your production network. But let's start with the first one. So if I go over here, what I have is a bunch of virtual machines on a Hyper-V host. And if I go to one of my virtual machines, DC1, you will see that, first of all, I have a default gateway configured. But if I try to ping that default gateway, it won't work. And obviously, if I try to ping anything on the internet, like a Google DNS server, I can't reach that one either. Now, if I go over to my Hyper-V host, if I run the get net net command, it will show me nothing. I have not yet configured this feature in Hyper-V. Now, the background to this, back in 2016, Microsoft enabled this functionality in both server and also Windows 10. Amy put together a nice blog post about this, and I will share this link under the video here. But it basically, the shorthand version is, you need to create a network, assign a static IP address, and then create a new NAT network. So if I go back to my demo environment, and open up ICE here, this first line here will set a static IP address to my internal network card. So in Hyper-V, what I have here is a single internal switch only, meaning the client can talk to the host, but nothing further. And that means also I have a network card that currently do not have a static IP address set. If I run that command, I got an IP address, if I double check the network card here, properties again. Sure enough, I have a static IP address. Now, if I run the second line, this is where I create that NAT network. And if I go back here and run this command again, it will now show you I have that network configured. So if I go back to my virtual machine and once again try to ping the default gateway, I can now reach it. If I try to ping the external address, this now works as well. So now I have isolated VMs, but I still have internet access on them. Now, back to the more advanced scenario. So I'm going to go back here and first I'm going to get rid of that network that I configured.
And that means that on my domain controller here, once again, I don't have any internet access. So instead for this time, and this is scenario number two, this is where I will configure a virtual router, in this case based on Windows Server 2019. So I will have a virtual machine here with three network cards in it. One of those network cards is going to have internet access. And then these other networks here, my New York and my Chicago networks, they will get internet access through this virtual machine here. So let's get to it. One of my VMs here, GW01. Currently, this one only have one network card. The first thing I'm gonna do is to make sure I have three virtual networks to play with in Hyper-V or virtual switches. Switch manager, and I'm gonna start with renaming my internal one to New York. I'm gonna add in another one for the external card. So I'm gonna connect this to my wired network adapter. I'm gonna call it external. Other common names are uplink, internet, whatever you prefer, but it is connected to my outside network. And then I'm gonna add in another internal one. This is gonna be for Chicago. And hit okay. Now, since I'm modifying external cards, I'm going to lose connectivity for just a little bit, but it should come back fairly quickly. All right, we're back again. So now when I have the network, I can go ahead and configure my router. If I go to settings, I only have one network adapter. That was the internal one renamed to New York, but I can add more network cards. So I'm going to add a network adapter. This is going to be to my external one. And then I'm going to add another one, and that's going to be the Chicago one. So now I have a VM with three different network cards configured to three different networks in Hyper-V. And click OK. I'm going to power on the virtual machine. And I'm going to make a note of the MAC address I have on each card. So back to PowerShell. So here we can see that the New York one ends with 0E, the external one ends with 0F, and Chicago ends with 10. So try to remember that when I work with my virtual machine. I'm gonna lower this a little bit so I can see it or find it easily. So now if I go to, not that one, but if I go to Gateway 01 and log in, and check my network adapters. I'm gonna name them something clever. So let's start with this one. This one ends on 0E, and that means that 0E is my New York network. So I'm gonna rename that one to New York. This one here sure looks like my external one, but I'm going to double check. 0F. And sure enough, that's my external one. I'm going to name that to external. And that kind of leaves this one for Chicago. So the first thing I will do is to change the IP address of this network card. It's currently set to. 1.2, but you might remember that my default gateway on the other VMs was 1.1. So before I can change that, I would have to go over here, take my New York card, and change it to something else at the moment. Yes, not 1.1, because that will be in conflict. Now, can go back to my virtual machine, can change this one to 1.1. .1. I'm just going to verify that it worked. Sure enough. 
And I'm also going to sign an IP address on the car that is connected to the Chicago network. So as you might remember, that was on the 2 network. So I'm going to give it 2.1, like this. And click OK. So now, if I do another IP config, I now have three addresses, only one default gateway, obviously, but this is my New York, Chicago, and external network card. Now I can go ahead and configure this server to be a router. Open up Server Manager, add roles and features, select my server, going to select Remote Access, select Routing, which will automatically select the top one. And I'm done for now with that one. The role has been added. Click close. And in my admin tools, I will open up routing and remote access. I will right click and say configure. And in this scenario, I want to set up NAT. I'm going to pick the interface I use to connect to the internet, that is my external card. And I'm going to pick one of my networks here to be on the inside. Unfortunately, I cannot select both here, but I can select this one and click next. That's giving me a warning about firewall, but I'm not worried about that right now, so click OK. And the service starts. Now, if I expand my IPv4 node here and select NAT, right now we only see these two interfaces, so I'm going to add in Chicago as well. I click OK. It's going to be a private interface. So now I have one external and two private. If I go back to my domain controller, which was on the New York network, and try to ping an internet resource. I now have internet access. Now, if I take a machine here, one of my clients, this client is still in New York. Open up a command prompt. can still ping internet. If I change this over to the Chicago network, and change the IP address of this one from a New York address to a Chicago address, so 2.11 instead of 1.11. And I'm going to change the default gateway to 2.1. So again, the VM is now configured to use the Chicago network and has a Chicago IP address, and I should still have internet access. Perfect. I also want to verify that I can ping the domain controller as well, otherwise it will be bad. And that works. So now I have successfully configured this scenario. These two networks here, New York and Chicago, they can talk to each other through the router, but they also have internet access through the NAT interface on this one here. That was all for today. I hope to see you again tomorrow for another episode. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.